Tomorrow, March 19th, is the court ruling on the bail application for the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, Mazi Namdikanu. We move again. It's also important to remind the Nigerian government and the federal high court that Mazi Namdikanu never jumped bail in 2017. Instead, the Nigerian army sent soldiers to the home of Mazi Namdikanu to assassinate him. They killed over 30 people in his house that day, including his cousin. The videos and evidence are public knowledge. Mazi Namdikanu has been in the DSS custody now for over three years since his illegal rendition from Kenya. Meanwhile, the medical condition of Mazi Namdikanu is getting worse and worrisome, mostly triggered by the physical torture he received when he was renditioned back to Nigeria. How can Boko Haram terrorists? Fulani herdsmen and bandits in the north be granted amnesty, rehabilitated, and even integrated into the Nigerian armed forces. Meanwhile, Mazi Namdi Kanu, who have committed no crime in still being held in the DSS detention for close to four years now. This is injustice. We demand the unconditional release of Mazi Namdi Kanu. Nesen no bele wa jisi teli le nu wa do nu go bi aso puta ndi bo na fufu Ya go bele wa na runu ilo na si we kalisi ke di so je ne ku ma ke amu le mi wa mi do ni Prince Nnamdi Okukanu o hamadi ke wa of Igbo land O bele wa mu lo na ni bo ni Open them, what you love to go to the house and not an 